everyone and welcome. My name is Melissa Armo and tonight I'm going to talk to you about the stock market. So I had a, a woman doing my nails today. The manicurist was, was doing my nails and was watching the market, had, had the charts up, looking at everything. And she said, oh, the stock market's going to crash. It's going to crash soon, isn't it? And I said, what? What do you mean it's going to crash soon? We're, we're, we're making brand new all-time highs in the Dow. The, the, the spy just made an all-time high in the last couple of days. What do you mean we're going to crash? And she said, well, it keeps rallying. It keeps going up higher and higher and higher and higher and higher. It's going to crash. It has to crash. It has to crash sometime soon, she said. And I said, no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't at all. And it made me realize something that a lot of people don't think about. While it's true that nothing goes in a straight line, whether up or down in reference to stocks and the market overall, while that's true, okay, when momentum comes in, and in the case of the overall market, it's buying momentum. When buying momentum comes in to the market or stock, okay, it's going to lift the price higher. And so we're seeing momentum continue and come in and then continue in the market, which is one of the reasons why the market is lifting. And stocks like Apple, like BA, so like CAT. So we've seen stocks make lifts more and more so recently because they're getting bought. Now, consequently, when you have something that's selling off and it's dropping, you can make money trading if you short the stock. But when something is moving down, when it's trading down, when the price is falling, then the momentum's to the downside. So the only way you'd make money then it would be shorting the stock if it's dropping and falling, okay? Either way, moves while it's true don't go in a straight line forever whether up or down and i'm not saying the market's going to go in a straight line up i'm not saying that at all i'm saying the market is bullish and i'm saying look for the bullishness to continue and i'm saying the market is going to continue higher between now and the end of 2018 and don't be surprised if we hit on through and make and continue to make record highs especially going into earnings season the way things stand and the banks could finally report I don't know, but they report in the next week and they could finally report and actually show some good numbers, which would really lift the market. It would really lift the S&P because the banks are part of the S&P and they would really move the market and it would move those stocks that have been lagging for a better part of 2018. I don't know how they're going to report. I'm just saying that could happen. That's a possibility. Anyways, getting back to what I was saying. So listening to this woman who obviously didn't trade, didn't invest, didn't know anything about the market, but what she's heard all around and what people believe in the way that they think is that we're going to crash because we've been rallying so much. And every day you hear to the news, we're making new highs almost or every, every other week. So then, then people talk, oh, we're going to crash, we're going to crash. And I don't know what other uh, news channels cable news channels are saying, I regularly appear on Fox. I don't, I don't know what the other places are saying. Maybe they're telling people that the market's going to crash and that's, that's the channels that this lady watches. I don't know. But it's interesting to me to hear a comment like that. Obviously, you know, I'm a professional. What I do, I read charts. I, I, I analyze the market. I predict where it's going to go based on the gap. But I'm telling you the market's higher and I'm reading the price action to see that and when mine's coming in, it's money that's being invested in the market. And that's very, very powerful. And so when you have institutional money coming in, it's scooping the market up and stocks and it's, it's, it's moving it higher. And when I look at this chart, the overall chart, I'm not looking at a chart right now, but when I'm, if I was standing in front of a chart, I'd show you. It's, it's new money that is coming in recently. And that is one of the reasons I'm so bullish. It's new money that's coming in recently to the market. So it's hard to explain that without pointing out a chart to you, but I can tell that that is what it is when I'm seeing it. So even though people have been saying and the market has rallied and has been bullish for quite a number of years, and even though we power trended it from 2016 into 2017, all of 2017, we power trended up because it was right after Trump's election. That's true. Even though all that's true, the way that we sidelined for the majority of 2018 was a rest period for the market. And the market rested to make a giant mungo move higher, which hasn't barely begun yet. Even though we've hit it over the highs, the move that I'm expecting, the expected move that's going to continue, that's going to happen, which I don't know the timing when it's really going to explode. And everyone will say, woo, this is really unexpected because so many people are saying that we're at the top and we're at the top and we rallied too long. And we're going to have to crash in and we have to come down. No, 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 no. Okay. I'm telling you that I'm looking for a much larger move to happen in the market at some point. And then therefore we will continue higher because the buying that is coming in is new buying that's coming in and it's 
lifting the market higher and it's strong and it's powerful and it's big and you're seeing it and you're seeing it and the reflection of the stock prices in the overall market and in stocks themselves which make up the market anyways i just thought i'd share that with you that's today's market analysis the market's bullish i don't see that changing anytime soon it's not too late if you want to get in and that's the scoop have a great night everyone if you'd like to learn how to trade gaps email me at melissa at the stockswish.com and have a great night everyone